I have a lookup table in Excel with product code, product name, and price. And below that, I have a couple of cells where I can type a product code. And beside that, there's a VLOOKUP formula that checks this cell, goes to this table, checks column three, and returns the exact price for the code that I've typed in cell A8. Now, if I type a code that isn't in the table, say I change that to B15, when I press enter, the result is NA. So I get an error instead of the result because there's nothing there to find. So instead of seeing this error, I would like to just see an empty cell if it can't find the result of the VLOOKUP. So in this VLOOKUP formula, I know that if it can't find the product, I'm going to get an NA. So first I'm just going to add a function in front of this that checks to see if the result is NA. So I'm going to click right after the equal sign and type ISNA and an open bracket. So it's going to check this VLOOKUP and see if the result is NA. And I'll go to the end and click and do a closing bracket. Now if I press enter, it's telling me that it is true. The result of that VLOOKUP right now is an NA error. So if I go back and type B14, let's just test this, it's false. That's not an NA error. So with B15, it is an NA error. So that's how I'm going to check to see if the result is an error. Now, then I have to tell Excel what I want it to do. So it's going to check to see if it's an error. So I'm going to click after the equal sign again, and I'm going to use an if function. So I'll type I, F, and an open bracket. So it's going to test this. So is this an NA error? And I'm going to click at the end of my existing formula and type a comma. So if this is true, if it is an NA error, I'd like to see just an empty string. So I'm going to type two double quote marks and a comma. So if it's an error, don't show anything in the cell, just an empty string. And if not, I would like to see the result of the VLOOKUP. So instead of typing that again, I'm just going to select from the VLOOKUP down to the bracket that ends the VLOOKUP. And on my keyboard, I'll type Control C to copy that. Then I'm going to click after the comma, and on the keyboard, I'll press Control and V to paste. And I'll close that bracket and press Enter. So now our formula uses if to check for the error. If, the, if it's true that there is an error, I get an empty string. Otherwise, I get the result of the VLOOKUP. So we can see an empty string there now. And if I change it to a valid number, B14, I see the VLOOKUP result.